Okay, so today we're going to learn how to sew a button on a coat. Um, it's a really important thing to be able to do because no matter what coat you ever buy, you're going to lose buttons on it. So um, you want to know how to do it. So you're going to cut away at the thread that's already there just so that you know where the button goes. But I wouldn't take out all of the thread, okay, because you want a little bit of kind of a scar left there as a guide. So then you're going to take a piece of thread, probably about, you know, two, two and a half feet long. And you want to cut the end of it so that it's really, really sharp. And then you're going to thread that into the very top of the needle, which can be tricky to do. Okay, then you're going to pull it through. You don't want to pull it through the whole length. You want to pull it through maybe a hand width times two, something like that, by eye. Okay, because you don't want to make it too uh, thick, because if you make it too thick, it will make the button stronger, but... If for some reason it snags on something, it'll come off faster. It's better to do single threading. So then what you're going to do at the very end, uh, I always do this. It isn't necessary because you can run it through a few times if you don't want to do this. But I like to put a couple of knots at the very end because um, it just stops it from unraveling a little, just a little bit. It gives that extra protection, right? So you're going to make a knot like, you know, relatively close to the end not right at the end but you know maybe an inch or so from the end something like that okay so you're going to make that see that little knot there and you're going to do it again so you're going to make another knot like that and you're going to try to line it up with the first knot that you did which can be kind of tricky because you want to catch that knot in there you want to catch it in there with it, right? So you're going to do, see the knot? And I'm trying to line it up as best as I can, just for that extra added protection so that it doesn't unravel. Here we go, perfect. There you see, the knot is slightly bigger. So I got it. Okay. That takes practice, by the way. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go from the outside of the coat, okay? So that you know where the end of the thread is. So you're gonna start right where that little spot is, okay? Where you've left that little piece of thread in there. And you're gonna go straight in with your needle, straight through the leather on the other side. Now, because it's a, it's a thick fabric, you're not gonna be able to go in and out with the needle on one side. You're gonna to have to go from the outside to the inside and then you're going to go right back to the outside, but over slightly, just so you're not going exactly in the same hole. Otherwise, your thread's going to come right back out again. And you pull that out. Okay. So now you can see the end of the thread there. I, I'm not cutting that just yet. I'm going to go in there a few more times. So in and through. Now, it doesn't matter that I'm using white thread, uh, to be honest, because of the type of button this is. You're not even going to see the thread when I'm finished. We'll go in one more time. It doesn't matter if you get it in exactly the same spot in the back because no one's going to actually see it, right? So it doesn't. that part doesn't really matter. Okay, once you've run it through a few times and it feels pretty, you know, Pretty sturdy right you can pull on it and it doesn't come out then you're going to take the button now this particular button the reason why the thread color doesn't matter is because of where the buttonhole is see it's underneath the button so the button is going to cover all of that you won't see that right so you're going to take the needle and you're just going to put it through the loop there in the button and you're just going to go put your other finger on top of it to kind of hold it into place you're going to go underneath the button with the needle through to the other side and try to come in somewhere close to where you were just sewing. It doesn't have to be exact, but somewhere close. You don't want to be like all over the place inside, right? So as you pull through, you'll see the button will get closer. See that? Okay. Then you're going to go back from the inside through, you're going to go under the button, 
and you're going to go through the loop through the loop like that and pull it out then you're going to go back inside not through the loop again but just back through the fabric okay so now we've gone through the button literally two times okay now how many times you go through that buttonhole is it's completely up to you but basically the more times you go through it the stronger the button is going to be but then again sometimes if you put it too if you make too many it makes the button too rigid and it's hard to button it so you really kind of have to do it by eye so i'm going to go back up through again and i'm going to go into that loop and pull it through without sticking it in my finger sometimes that's it, you can get it stuck in your finger and, and a thimble will help with that you've got a thimble I just don't have one right now then I'm going to go back through the coat through the fabric and back up through the loop again make sure I'm going through the loop see that and then back inside the coat Trying to get it in relatively the same spot. Okay, and it's starting to feel pretty good now. Okay, you don't want it too rigid, but you don't want it too loose either. So we're gonna go through the loop one more time. This is a very thick fabric, so you probably won't need as many loops. The thinner the fabric, like you'll have to fasten the button on a little bit more tighter. Okay, and then back through the coat. Now, when you're finished the sewing portion of the button, of putting the button on, make sure that the loop comes through nice and you can't see anything, okay? Then we go underneath the coat now. Now we have to run it through and finish it. Otherwise, it's gonna unravel out. I wouldn't do it in the leather part. I would do it in the fabric part right in the silky part of the underside of the coat because it'll stick to it a little bit easier. So then you're just going to run it through like this a few times through the fabric. You know, maybe five or six times. Whatever it starts to get a little hard to get it through, that's when you know you've done it kind of enough. It needs a few more times. And you will not see this because it'll be on the inside of the coat. Now, if you really don't want it to be seen on the inside of the coat, you can use black thread. I just didn't have any. But it really doesn't matter because no one's going to see this part. That's the thing with sewing. It's like it's, it's, you only have to worry about the parts that you can actually see, right? And be careful you don't snag the tag when you're doing it. All right, one more time will be sufficient. So I'm just gonna push the needle through one more time. Then I take my scissors and I just cut the end and then I go back to the other side where the end was. And if I can see it, I cut it. If I don't see it, I don't bother. Oh yeah, I can see it a little bit, so I'll cut it just to, there you go. And there is your button sewed on.